Hi guys, Steph here. And today's live video is all about what to do when you want to quit your business. Now, first of all, that's normal to want to quit your business. Ladies, pretty much every month it's normal to want to quit your business. You can guess what time of month that is because we want to quit everything. Um, so a little tip, lots of little tips here. This video will only be about seven minutes. Um, tips for when you want to quit your business because as a business owner, you're going to want to quit your business. And if you haven't already, amazing. Let us know your tips in the comments because props to you. Hey, Lindsay, today's video is all about what to do when we want to quit our business. Um, so I just wrote a post about in, uh, when I truly wanted to close the doors to Nourish in 2015. I was so close. I basically hired a business coach in our first call. I said, by the way, I think I might quit my business, um, even though I'm hiring you as a business coach. So we all want to quit and it's normal to want to fold the doors and some tips when you want to do that. Don't, first of all, take a step back. And if you're looking, um, usually when we want to quit, we'll look in the opposite direction of what we think we want to do. If it's a full-time position or all of these things. So whatever it is you're seeking in this job or in um, the opposite of what you think your business isn't giving you, write down the qualities. So for example, if you're seeking a permanent position with no responsibility and pay, think of the qualities of why you want that job and then try to implement them in your business. And a lot, a lot of the time for us women, it really is just taking a step back, getting the F out of the way for two to three days, maybe seven days, and really just taking a step back because often it's hormonal. And um, for about seven years, I had no idea it was related to my cycle. And then just in this past relationship, my boyfriend, he would say, you want to quit your business? Hey, what time of the month is it? And it always fell on right before um, my PMS cycle. So that's hilarious. So every time I want to quit my business, I look at where I am in my cycle and nine times out of 10, it's that. So then I laugh, I take a step back, I go to yoga and then I wait two or three days and all of a sudden I love my business. So know that um, if you're a lady in business and if you're a man in business, it's totally normal to want to quit it as well. Often when we get uncomfortable, we just want to go in the opposite direction. So our business often takes the brunt of it. Um, so it goes ups and downs and waves and usually we want to grow and then we want to hide and not talk to anyone and then we want to grow. So that's normal too. And hopefully your business is going like this up and down and up and down, but in a steady upward direction. Um, so some tips when you want to quit your business, don't quit your business. Don't do anything drastic. Take a step back, have some chaga tea, um, have a really solid support network. So people who are in business, who are um, where you want to be, not the people who also want to quit their business because then they're going to convince you to do just that. Yes, breathe. Breath work is amazing. Um, and I actually just started, um, Annalise and I are going to work together on a 90 day growth plan and her specialty is breath work. So you're going to be seeing her on my channel. She does breath work with people and I'm very familiar with it from doing my yoga training and uh, meditation. Breath work is amazing um, for really just calming down. And um, another thing that I do with um, trying to get clear on things, it's actually the first step on my four steps to success is to gain clarity in what you want. So often when we get overwhelmed in business, we just have way too many things on the go. And in order to grow, we have to let go of stuff. We have to empty our cup and Clarity will come if you quiet yourself and get rid of scattered stuff. So it could be physical stuff. That could be bags of clothes you're taking away, books, your environment, you're, you're clearing clutter in your environment, but you're also clearing space in your mind, getting rid of stuff that really doesn't serve you. And every time I go to these 10 day meditations, it becomes so clear on what I want in my life, what I don't want um, as well when I'm not doing those meditations. Um, if my business is stagnant, I take a step back and I actually do the four steps that I teach people. And that first step to clear clutter, you can't grow if your cup is full to the top. Anything new, even if it's exciting, you'll spill over and you'll burn, you'll crash and burn. So the clarity will come and often people never do that. So they stay in this scattered energy and business stinks. And then they all of a sudden quit it or 
are always working different jobs because they can't get their business off the ground. So um, also with social media accounts, when you get overwhelmed, don't close them down. Just take a step back. I've had um, clients say that. They've said, I hate Instagram. I'm closing it. Don't do that. That is um, always just take a step back. Never close accounts. Um, don't do anything drastic <laughs> when you are feeling emotional. Just breathe. And support network is huge. Having um, a business coach, coach, mentors, people who are exactly where you want to be is amazing. So that's today's video, nice and short and sweet. Happy long weekend. Thanks for joining. And if you want to book a free clarity call with me to do an audit on your business, how to grow online, some simple steps, I'll link it all up. Instagram, it's in my bio. Facebook, I'll put it in the comments. Happy Sunday.